second. Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Arduino projects. In my previous video, we have seen the basic working principle of force sensor. And also we have learned interfacing with the Arduino board, reading the values and controlling the LED brightness based on the force applied. If you have missed that video, just follow the link from the description box. So with all these learnings, in today's video, we'll be making a very interesting project using this FSR, which is anti-theft alarm. So make sure you watch the complete video till the end. For this project, you need Arduino board. I have this Uno board. You can go with any type. One force sensitive resistor or force sensor. One 10K resistor. push button, small buzzer, LED bulb, jumper wires and breadboard for easy connection. And as a power supply, I'm using two 18650 lithium ion cells along with round pin connector. Coming to the connections, first I'll take the 5 volts and ground of the Arduino board onto the breadboard. One terminal of the sensor goes to the 5 volts and the second terminal to the ground through or 10 kilo ohm resistor. So we have to measure the voltage drop across the resistor. So this connects to analog pin A0 of the Arduino board. For the push button, one terminal goes to ground and other one to digital pin 7. Next. In the buzzer, the positive terminal goes to digital pin 11 and negative pin to ground. And finally, the LED positive goes to digital pin 2 and negative terminal to ground. That's all the connections. If you have any doubts, just refer to the circuit diagram link from the description box. Coming to the coding part, I have already written this code, so I'll just give overview of the logic. So at the top, I have defined a macro called FSR threshold with a value of 300. So this is the value below which we have to start the buzzer. This you have to change it according to the object you'll be using on the sensor. Next, there is one button library included. So in our application, we are using the single push button for multiple functionalities like single click, double click and long press. For all the scenarios, instead of writing the logic manually, this library provides built-in functions which makes our code easier. So I'll also provide the link to download this library. Next we have pin declarations, FSR connected to A0 buzzer pin on digital pin 11, LED on 2 and button on 7. For the button library we have a class 1 button and I am creating an object button. The arguments will be button pin and we have to set it to true by default. In the setup function this for initializing the serial communication with this border it and we are setting the modes of LED and buzzer pin as output and for the button its input which will be handled inside the library itself. 
and for the button we have member functions single click double click and long press for all these functions we have to pass the function names as arguments here if single click is detected this function gets called and for double click this one and for the long press this function gets called so I have already defined all the three functions at the bottom of the code and inside this you can keep the logic to be executed in that respective scenario coming to the loop first I'm reading the sensor pin using analog read function and storing it in this variable also printing the same on the serial monitor for reference next I have called tick function from the button class which continuously checks for the button press moving further I have used switch case statement to make the code simpler so this is the state variable here it will be having two values either 0 or 1 so I have considered the 0 as a default case where anti-theft mode is inactive in this scenario buzzer is off LED is off next in order to activate the anti-theft mode I have to press the button single time so which calls this function inside this it checks if the object is placed on the sensor if it's true then the state value gets updated to 1 now the case 1 starts executing here LED will be on also it checks continuously if the object is present on the sensor or not if it's removed then the sensor value goes less than the threshold and buzzer starts making sound so again to disable it I have to long press the button and this function gets called where we are pushing the state value again back to zero so that's on the code I'll connect it to computer and upload the code After uploading the code, I'll open the serial monitor. So here we can see the analog values and by default, it's showing anti-theft mode is inactive. Once I keep the object on the sensor, the analog values goes above the threshold. At this time, I can activate the anti-theft mode by pressing the push button once. So now, in the serial monitor it says the mode is active and LED also glows at this time if someone tries to steal the object the buzzer starts making sound and it alerts you even if it tries to keep the object back on the sensor the buzzer doesn't stop Only the user should be knowing how to disable it. You can just long press the button for 3 seconds and the buzzer stops making sound and device goes to inactive mode. So this is the basic working of this project. Now I'll keep all the things organized into the box to make it look finished. I have removed the USB cable and powering the complete setup using 18650 batteries also I am hiding the switch under this so that only the user will be knowing and able to activate and deactivate So in the first scenario, the user keeps the object and activates the anti-theft mode with a single click. Now 
if the user only has to take the object back he can double click and deactivate the mode and can take the object so in the second scenario again we'll keep the object and activate the mode now if someone tries to steal the object the buzzer starts making sound even if it tries to keep the object back the buzzer doesn't stop the user has to press the button for 3 seconds to disable it long press you can also make this project even more advanced by adding smartphone bluetooth or fingerprint sensor to activate and deactivate the anti theft mode which makes it more secure so this is all about the anti theft security system using the force sensor and arduino using the same sensor we had already made one interesting game controller if you have missed that video just check it out from the i button for complete source code and circuit diagram follow the link from the description and don't forget to subscribe and follow us on instagram for more interesting projects thank you for watching we'll be back in the next one